Hello, I'm Lovday Newman. Um, I'm a clinical psychologist. I work with the um, Older People's Mental Health Team in Cambridge, and I'm currently doing um, the Mental Health Fellowship as part of the NAHR um, ARC uh, Fellowship Programme. What attracted me to the fellowship programme was that I've always really been really interested in doing both clinical work and research work. In fact, it was one of the things that drew me to clinical psychology as a career that you got to train in both. Um, but I think that when I qualified as a psychologist and I started working in NHS services, um, you know, I really loved being able to consolidate my clinical skills that I developed in the course. But there was, I think, because of a pressure on services and, you know, the pressure to see people, not so many opportunities to do research. And I missed it really. And I, and I saw this, um, opportunity uh, to do applied research and um, particularly what I really liked about this fellowship it was about training clinicians how to do research so it's very much a training fellowship and and I really liked that because although I had research experience I didn't really feel that confident in doing um, research in applied settings particularly you know having the confidence or the wherewithal or the network to do those things so um, I thought well this is a really good program because it enables me to you know learn how to do applied research build up a bit of a network you know build up skills um confidence um and uh yeah do it in my service as well um so yeah as, as i said i've always been interested in, in both and i think just the combination of, you know, of uh, clinical and research work doing applied research is something that really appealed to me my project for the mental health fellowship um is about uh social isolation and loneliness um, uh, in a secondary care setting, so where I work. So um, as I've said, I'm a psychologist working in a older people's mental health team in secondary care. So we work with more complex mental health problems in people over the age of 65. Um, and I'm interested in isolation and loneliness um, in how it presents amongst our service user group and how we work with it. So. Um, I'm into interviewing both service users and healthcare professionals to understand a little bit more about what it looks like, how we work with it, what gets in the way, um, what helps and what we can do to improve our work with it. Because um, I guess the whole thrust of my project is that um, uh, recovery is um, inherently social. So trying to address the more social aspects of people's recovery um, is important um, or is important to, to our work in, in mental health. So in terms of the advice that I'd give to somebody about, about applying, um, I think similar to what I've just said, I think just ask for support. I think, um, although I had some some research experience, I really didn't feel like I had the confidence or and I didn't have much experience of applied research at all and I didn't have a network and I think just by going along to the uh, one of the information sessions that was organised um, by the ARC um, to find out more, I just went along and I was quite honest about um, my, uh, my limitations and about uh, where I was getting stuck um, and they were just really encouraging. I remember somebody said to me, which was really helpful advice. Um, they just said, you know, psychologists often have, you know, good ideas, but they um, they need a bit of help in <laughs> in 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 creating a, a clear research question and in getting going. And I remember that was really helpful because um, I think it just gave me a bit of a push, really. And I thought, yeah, I'll you know, I'll I'll just um, I'll go for it. And yeah, so I think just talk to people, like even if you think. It might just, I just talk to as many people as you can, I would say, um, and uh, that will set you off in a helpful direction 